Hi, thanks for tuning into our whiteboarding video. We're going to talk to you today about the practice of impact mapping. My name is Tom Heisey. I'm an engagement lead with Red Hat Open Innovation Labs. And my name is Sergio Canales, and I'm a senior consultant at Red Hat. So Sergio, why don't we just start with a very brief overview of what impact mapping is and kind of where it came from. So in 2012, Goiko Adzik, who was uh, actively involved in the domain-driven design community, wanted to come up with another practice that would allow for the identification of work uh, that should be done. So our example, you can see, looks like a mind map. And it's uh, a method that allows for the appropriate level of communication amongst the right people in an organization to graphically outline their strategic roadmap towards what they want to get finished. For that, it sounds like uh, we should start with a really important thing, that is our goal. Okay, so for this example, we have a real clear goal. Well, it's not for the example, it should be always like that. So we're talking about increasing our CSAT by 10% over six months. So that level of definition, you need to be on the goal. And more important, it should be agreed for all the people on your organization, okay? So starting from this point of this goal, we are moving to our next component. So the next component is an actor. And the word actor can be confusing sometimes because people always associate actor with a person. And when we're doing impact mapping, you're not just necessarily talking about people when you're talking about cr creating software or whatever the project might be that you're stepping off on. Actors can be people, they can be systems, they can be groups within an organization or a process. So for our example, we wanted to take two that two that were pretty clear to understand um, and would move out um, coherently. So one of our actors is our customer. Clearly, we provide a service to uh, our customers. They provide us feedback on how satisfied they are or aren't with our service, and that results in a CSAT score. And you can see that we've been dinged a little bit, and we want to bring that back up. The other one is an example of not using a person or um, you know, a user. Mm -hmm. We're talking about an actual system, and this one's our invoicing system. So we felt that these were the best examples to be able to share that will allow us to clearly move out through the rest of, uh, okay. rest of the example. So moving on into impacts, we have these actors, but we need to change some behavior they are having. Okay? Usually they are doing things that they are not uh, they think they are not good enough or maybe are pain points that they want to resolve. So in this case, from the side of the actor, we are talking about increasing number of unit purchases per, per order. So the feedback of the customer, they already tell us that is, there is a, a pain over there. So changing the behavior that, okay, we today, we have only a few orders and this that's too slow for the business. So Let's increase it. That is the chain of behavior, the impact that we are going to work in it. And, and a second example is, OK, let's put down the number of return units, because that, of course, is bad for the business. So this is the kind of example for the impact you are going are related to, this, to these actors. OK, so impacts are their example two to the invoice system too. And then you always need to be sure that you're thinking in about a desired state, okay? So let's move out to the next component. So absolutely, next components are deliverables. So when we talk about deliverables, what we're really talking about are, are features. So if you, it, it, they correlate together nicely. So in order to identify the impacts that we, we want to increase or decrease, we have to start figuring out the how. What's it going to take to be able to do that? And for our examples, the two of the deliverables that we came up with were we, some of the feedback we've received from our customers is about bulk ordering. We currently don't have the ability to bulk order online through our website. So they have to call. It's a manual process, and, and they're just not happy with it. So something that we know is going to be of value uh, immediately to the customer and provide satisfaction is allowing them to bulk order online. And uh, you know they could bulk order 5,000 units or 100,000 units. So another thing that came out of that conversation was the fact that if we do bulk ordering, we currently don't have the ability to do pricing for bulk ordering. So we know we're starting to see the work flow out and begin to prioritize itself a certain way. 
we know that we're going to need to build some sort of a bulk pricing calculator on the back end that's going to provide the right pricing, the right discounts, et cetera. So for example, you can see how the, it begins to flow. You can go one step further with an impact map. You can have a story list over here that you can start to create high level story statements that the team would then go and um, continue working on. However, in my experience and what I normally like to do is just we take this information. This information is understood and agreed upon by all, all the people who are involved in, in talking and working through this exercise. And the team then takes these, we go back and we start writing stories and estimating them and putting them into our backlog and, and getting the work started immediately. So it's a very rapid, powerful method to identify the work that needs to be done and more importantly, the most valuable work. Yes. And I have to say, it, it's amazing when we are in project starting with thinking about something, delivering to me something to do. And I can say, looking at this is okay. They want me to do this, this is the what. Okay, what we are going to do? And I can pull to the pack thinking um, how I can do it, for whom and why. So this is amazing because usually, let's be really, really clear. Usually work and you, the work you do, do, you don't know why are you doing it. So this is, I, I recommend that be uh, share this to all the team, all the organization, and even the delivery team. It's going to be really valuable. That's an excellent point. It is, it is refreshing. So if you want to learn more about impact mapping or all the other practices that are out there and available, just please go visit the Open Practice Library, and you'll, uh, you'll find information on this and uh, quite a bit more. So thank you very much for joining. We appreciate it.